I'm Christine. This was a highly requested video and I'm finally doing a tour of my home office desk and work from home setup. The most frequently asked question that I get is where did you get your desk? So I have two desks. One is for my working station. This is where I edit all my videos, do all my design work. And this one right here is where I do all my art, drawings, and painting. And both of them are from FlexiSpot. They actually gifted me both of these desks and I think I would have purchased it with my own money if they had not sent it to me because I really like these standing desks and they also sponsored this video. So thank you FlexiSpot for making my life more productive and more comfortable. If you want a discount with a FlexiSpot standing desk, use the link down below. You can get $15 off your purchase. So FlexiSpot has several different models for their desks and you can choose between a more wider one versus a not so wide one. So this one is um, pretty wide and I love how wide it is because I need all the desk space that I can get. And I like this one because you can adjust the height and you can set it. So I set one as like my standing position and I set it to my height where my arm is perpendicular when I stand. And then I set three as my sitting position. I forget what two is. I don't have to adjust the height manually every time I want to sit down or stand up. And I actually built this all by myself. I'm still shocked that I did this by myself. I had to walk up like two flights of stairs and I carried this heavy thing by myself. So if I can do it, you could probably build this thing too by yourself. So this one is the EC1 model. It is slightly more affordable because you can't set the height. You have to manually adjust every single time. But I only stand up maybe a few times a day. I don't go up and down like 10 times a day, so I don't really mind it. I had two friends help me build this, but this was still relatively easy to assemble. I like how it gives you those little thingies that you can hide your cords underneath the table so that all your cords aren't just dangly. The most important and expensive thing on my desk is probably my MacBook Pro 16 inch and I'm gonna read off my model because I get this question a lot. Now the 13 inch versus the 16 inch, there is a huge difference in the screen size. You will feel so limited with a 13 inch after a while. So I just recommend that you put in some extra cash to buy the 16 inch because you'll probably end up returning or selling the 13 inch because you'll just get so frustrated with the limited amount of space that you have. So the one I have is a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core i9 processor, the 32 gigabyte DDR4 memory, and and then I have the 5300M with four gigabyte of GDDDR6 memory. I have no idea what the graphics actually mean, but I just went with the default. The storage, I went with 512 gigabyte because I have an external hard drive and I don't really have to keep everything on my MacBook. The monitor here I bought off from a friend for $200. I do think it's more important to invest in a powerful laptop than an expensive monitor because if you're running two or three softwares at a time, your laptop needs to be able to run all of that. You probably don't want to get my monitor because it works but it's not the best, but it's good enough for me, but I will link down below two different price points for monitors. One that's on the lower end of the spectrum, so it's like $200, $300, and the other one is gonna be like around the $800 range. I absolutely love my monitor stand, my monitor mount. I used to have this Everlane shoebox as my monitor riser, and it just took up a lot of space on my desk, so I just bought this one off of Amazon. It was pretty easy to assemble. It's a little complicated. Fingers crossed, I can get this right. I love the look and feel of it. I also love how functional it is because every time I have to look at the back of my monitor to unplug things, I don't need to lift the entire monitor up. I just need to swivel it around. This laptop stand is height adjustable. So I chose this one over all the other ones that I saw on Amazon. So I have two mouses. Mouses? Mice? 
mice? Mouses? Anyway, so I used to use the MX Master 3, which I still love to this day. I mean, those of you who've used this know how awesome this mouse is, but I recently purchased the Logitech MX Vertical because this one kept hurting my wrist. I love this mouse. I cannot recommend this mouse enough. You can also do like a zoom in, zoom out, especially when you're on Figma and a lot of times it's annoying because sometimes you do have to use your trackpad to zoom in and out of your Figma file. If you download Logi options on your laptop, you can customize your mouse. Both of them are Bluetooth and you can connect up to three devices. So I have three laptops. Don't ask me why I have three laptops, but I, I switch between all three of them. These have just come in super handy. It's also more ergonomic to have your hand like this. I actually don't find this movement weird at all. At first, I tried out this really cheap ergonomic mouse from Amazon and I returned it immediately because it felt so weird and I couldn't get used to it. I also tried out the Logitech thumb roll mouse and I couldn't get used to that because when you're a designer, you want that precision and to get that precision with just your thumb is just incredibly tough. I'm usually pretty frugal when spending money on speakers, but I did get a set of both speakers to connect to my laptop. I didn't get a Bluetooth one because for some reason if I connect too many devices to my laptop via Bluetooth, the connection gets all wonky and so I just wanted something that will connect through the aux cord. The sound is amazing. I think for $99, I couldn't ask for more. This is probably my favorite thing on the desk is the Keychron mechanical keyboard. And I never thought I would geek out about a keyboard because I'm not a gamer. Also, they're really annoying when you're not the one using it. Like whenever an engineer bought their mechanical keyboard from home, pre-COVID times, and they would start typing it away, I would get so annoyed because it's so loud. But if you're the person using it, oh, the sound is amazing. It makes you feel like you're being so productive even though you're writing just two sentences. I was having wrist problems using the keyboard on my laptop, so I was looking into an ergonomic keyboard. I tried out the Logitech one, I returned it because I didn't like it. And then my friend sold me on this Keychron mechanical keyboard. And the light options are so fun. Like I love playing around with all the light options that it has. It's also Bluetooth. But the best thing about this particular mechanical keyboard that other mechanical keyboards don't have is that in the top row, you'll have your touch bar keys. And I hate the touch bar because it got rid of all the important keys that I used to use. And now with this keyboard, you're gonna be able to use them again. Also the option, command and shift keys are all in the exact same position. And this is super handy because Windows has a slightly different layout when it comes to shift option command keys. So I don't have to relearn a new muscle memory every time I switch keyboards. And I have a laptop organizer behind my laptop because for some reason I just have a lot of laptops and I have an iPad. So I wanted to kind of like keep them in order. Here are some of my office essentials. I have my blue light glasses from Felix Gray in here. I have two different styles. They've definitely helped reduce my eye strain. I don't get as fatigued from staring at the screen. I have nail clippers, like three of them in here because I have a really bad habit of picking my nails when I'm working. And to make sure that I'm not bleeding by the end of a meeting, I have to have these clippers clip away the skin. And my lip balm. And I have some notes here, my external hard drive, my memory cards, post-it notes. Oh, look, these are really cute. Bread and goody tama. And then some masking tape. My stack of pens and my lovely cup from this Instagram artist that I like to follow. We support her. She has beautiful mugs and plates. RPG. I love RPG. She cheers me on whenever I get stressed. Moral support, she's there. This is my scheduler. I designed these stickers. I still need to sell them. I need to post them up on my blog, but I just haven't had the time to. I like to write out my to-do lists, even though I also write them digitally, so I just have to-do lists everywhere. I like that feeling of crossing off something on my to-do list, so I like to write it down. So I was never really artistic growing up. I never took drawing classes, but I've been getting more into marker drawings recently through classes that I've been taking on Class 101, which is an online platform. They have a lot of Korean illustrators as their instructors, and these are some of the drawings that I learned through the courses that I've been taking on Class 101.
that one. I've taken a lot of art classes, both in person and virtually, but I still think Class 101 has some of the best instructors. This is a drawing by one of my favorite illustrators, Kate Pugsley. This is my favorite childhood book, James and the Giant Peach. I think I read this book about five times growing up, and I hated books growing up, so that says a lot. And I mounted this wall shelf up there to put some fake plants. This is a fake snake plant. You couldn't tell, right? I almost forgot about mentioning this chair, so I've been on a very long hunt for a good office chair, and this one is the task chair from Branch, and it's really good for my back. It just makes me kind of like straighten up every time I'm on the computer, so I really like this. And the chair that I have on my art desk was for free. I know, I can't believe I got that for free because those bigger chairs are really in right now and they're retail for over $100. But someone was giving away for free on Facebook Marketplace. I'm like, God bless your kind and generous soul. I had a lot of fun filming this video and I hope you did too. I will see you next time. Bye!